Hi, the Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love and light to you all here. We are here with you, your May 2019 reading. Let's get on with it here for you, Scorpio. Ooh, I'm seeing that you are like, I'm seeing you making like really intense eye contact with someone. Okay. Seven of Swords in reverse. Like, no, no none of that peeking out from behind the bushes. Uh, kind of, uh, I'm hearing sensation here. Eight of Cups in reverse. I'm not sure what that's alluding to, but uh, Scorpio, I'm seeing that you're, you're here. I'm hearing you've arrived, you're shown up. I'm hearing if you've been kind of directing, I'm hearing your energy in a certain way, towards a certain direction, I'm smelling like perfume, it's so interesting. Um, if you've been kind of uh, even like energetically orienting yourself towards a certain type of talk, I'm hearing conversation, it's not only, and I am seeing it almost like as an animal who has been, um, I'm hearing investing a lot of time interpreting the actions and the moves of, uh, I'm hearing the eagles in the jungle, I'm hearing the eagle eyes, I'm not sure what that is alluding to, but almost like even, like I'm seeing like there is a certain form of uh, expression that you've been kind of maneuvering through and I'm seeing for number this has to do with what you've been here comes the mother of cups she fell right out of the stack right in between my legs and I caught it with my knees the mother of cups uh, she's uh, she's um, really sure of something here and she's not letting it go it could absolutely be your own energy Scorpio I'm hearing Sagittarius strongly it could also be the energy of another you could be dealing with another Scorpio it could be de dealing with uh, fire sign I'm hearing as well an Aries who's really honest I'm hearing an Aquarius as well who's uh, great at acting out their uh, I'm hearing their passions here I'm hearing twin flame I'm not sure what that's alluding to dear Sagittarius but you do have the fool which speaks of Aquarian energies are the base of the death card your very own card in the major arcana I'm seeing you're releasing here all of the roles that have kind of remedied this uh, plan I'm hearing um, and, and I'm hearing of analysis to a certain point where you're like okay I'm hearing I've thought about it and I'm it's so interesting because again I'm seeing like a, almost like a I'm seeing like an animal in the jungle. I'm seeing like a panther and they're looking around. I'm hearing they're processing everything. They're looking at the way that I'm hearing the, uh, the uh, I'm hearing the portal shifts. Interesting in nature. It's so interesting. The Scorpio, wow. And I, wow, what a beautiful bird. Two birds, sad Scorpio. Two birds identical to one another just flew right in front of the window. And now they're walking off on the little trail on the ground here. Okay, to my right. Now, <laughs> Scorpio, yeah, I'm hearing, okay, you're seeing, you're, you're seeing, you're seeing your storyline here, the sun coming through in the very center of your spread, right over the father of pentacles. This energy came through strongly in Sagittarius reading, strongly in the Pisces reading as well. I'm hearing someone here is coming home. I'm hearing they're coming full circle. They're focusing on you, I'm hearing as well. And it can be your own energy, absolutely. And having a lot of clarity, let's say in this way, Scorpio, of how you wanna channel um, what feels to be like a certain, uh, I'm hearing, um, opportunity now i'm hearing for discussion to discuss it the daughter of swords come through mirror in the nine of cups now scorpio <laughs> okay here comes the moon and the mother of swords the son of swords in reverse i'm hearing let's not react i'm hearing let's uh let's uh i'm hearing reveal interesting the ace of swords in reverse and the father wants him right okay scorpio right we, we've got a way or two about how we usually uh i'm hearing uh, uh talk about things i'm not sure what that's alluding to okay um but i'm seeing that there is a space of i'm hearing active leadership okay leading leading the discussion where it's like okay if we've been kind of i'm hearing entrancing one another okay like well, i'm not sure what that could be alluding to but we've been kind of uh i'm hearing interacting i'm hearing also i'm hearing in an intoxicated space i'm not sure what that's alluding to it could be even in a heavily uh i'm hearing um i'm hearing uh 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 i'm hearing a space of like uh I'm seeing like a like a I'm seeing a space that has like waves that move through it. I'm seeing like energetically, like it could be telepathically in the dream state, so on and so forth. All right, but Sagittarius, I'm hearing strongly, is <laughs> the sort of mirroring the five of wands, Scorpio. 
at the end of the day, I'm seeing that you no longer, let's say, want, um, I'm hearing your communications to be, uh, I'm hearing uh, oval in shape, interesting, in the discussion uh, of the storyline itself. I'm seeing that you're like, wait a second, I need, I'm hearing I would like to, um, I'm hearing stake my claim here with the Ace of Swords, I'm hearing with the announcement. Now, this is... I'm hearing the burst of the bubble here a little bit with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, perpendicular to the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I'm hearing we've got things that we've been meditating on that we feel like, realize and we feel we need to work through. But um, I'm seeing that there is a space of like almost releasing the space of preparation in and of itself. And the moment that we bring, I'm hearing to light, what our, I'm hearing what our uh, belief system really is. And I'm seeing it as like, okay, in an active way, right? If I were to, let's say, take what I've learned as well and really present it, really project it, really predict it, I'm hearing as well, interesting, in a way that makes me um, relevant to it in some kind of way, where it's like, I don't like say something or, or, or let's say feel something and then uh, and then um, physically remove myself from that storyline. It's like, no, 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 I'm hearing I am the physical, I'm hearing manifestation of that vision of mine. I'm hearing my intentions energetically, my vibrations, I'm hearing are what bring me to connect more deeply to what it is that I see myself looking at as the creator of that next step that I take. Interesting, the four, and I'm seeing someone kind of looking right off of a ledge at, um, I'm hearing the next a place in time that they see themselves talking about a lot of things here. Interesting, I'm seeing that there is a focus on what will be brought out uh, as an announcement as well, the death card perpendicular to the fool and the eight of pentacles. For no reason to be having like a premonition of something. All right, nonetheless, Scorpio, let's uh, keep it moving forward. Again, I'm seeing like an animal in a, um, in a forest and I'm hearing they, it's like they've been trained in a certain way to take note of, to take heed of certain tracks here along the way, okay? And I'm seeing that there's been almost like a measure of how uh, there has been a certain also team of guidance that has been working with you. I'm hearing to bring your awareness, I'm hearing your state of awareness, your level of awareness of uh, this uh, experience. I'm hearing also excursion to be brought full circle and drawn to scale. The moon here coming through right then and there, your very own card in the major arcana, mirroring here the justice card in the world in between the two. This is mirroring here the Fool and the Death card, Scorpio. I'm mirroring Sagittarius. This is a big process here of undoing. I'm not sure what that is alluding to, but a big step. I'm hearing a heavy load as well, but I'm seeing it as I'm hearing a step of navigation. We realize that the next step we take tells the earth when to rumble. Interesting, okay? This is not, I'm mirroring the front of This is a This is a storyline that continues as you might feel it. Um, that, uh, that, that, that though, at the same time, ironically enough, perhaps, as it may be perceived, inspires us to hold on to the space of the vision of it. Okay, interesting. I've seen that there's a little bit of like, um, there's a lot of, um, <laughs> it's so interesting because my, my, my right foot was on the ground and my left foot um, was just hovering. It's like I have my my legs uh, one on top of the other, and my left foot was kind of hovering over my right foot. And all of a sudden, right as I was kind of explaining this, I felt this like little tickle, and I looked down. I'm like, what was that? And it was my left foot, like the shoe, the bottom of my of my uh, of my sandal here, my shoe onto my right foot. So it's like you know, there's a little. I'm seeing here specifically. There's a little bit of a space of kind of um, Scorpio feeling like I'm hearing. Uh, I'm hearing um, the heat of the wave, like feeling that, that, that there is so much also pandemonium, like so much also change, so much, I'm hearing also regeneration in a certain way as well. Like I'm seeing also like a storm, like I'm seeing a sandstorm that's kind of blowing up in the wind, in the air. And I'm almost getting it as um, like there being, again, the honesty in that space of how we uh, disguise uh, our, um, I'm hearing our, uh, I'm hearing our doppelganger effect. I'm not sure what that's alluding to with the magician, the ace of swords, though. You got the mother of the cups as well here, mirroring the magician, Scorpio. I'm seeing that this is a process of translating your transition power. Now, what does that mean? I'm getting that for a number of you, you're very focused, you're fixed even, 
Scorpio on a certain storyline and the way that you see it kind of um, stapling I'm hearing the first page of this novel to the very last and in whatever way that could be meant for you in whatever way it could be taken be taken for soon term ways but at the end of the day, I'm hearing it's a matter of how we decide to kind of put those pla those pages into into place, right? It's like if I just wrote this fabulous novel, if I am kind of uh, also hyper aware of in a certain way, what mask I'm wearing here? I'm not sure what that's alluding to here with the magician, but I'm almost again seeing someone again. I'm seeing an animal, like a panther, in um in in like the forest, in like a in nature and they're kind of like they're 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 stalking i'm hearing they're stalking they're stalking they're they're uh, i'm hearing they're evolving i'm hearing their audience interesting okay for their own awareness okay uh, now <laughs> can be taken for seeing in terms of ways scorpio right but i'm seeing that you have kind of um grown into now a space of wanting to understand the fundamentals of the reality that you role play in. And it's like, I'm seeing where this panther was kind of looking around, oh, 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 oh where, where's the wind going now? Where are the animals flying off to now? Which, and I was having, I'm hearing like keeping tabs on certain nests, like where certain, I'm seeing that this is, um, okay, I'm hearing where certain bodies of also information are flowing from into, interesting. But there, I'm seeing that, um, I'm hearing hierarchy. Okay, nonetheless, um, it's like, uh, I'm hearing evolution, grandparents. Okay, always oh, he's a real Scorpio, but and again, it's like where this panther has kind of been overly involved, I'm hearing as well, in the discussion of how the winter rolls through um, into spring. I'm getting that there is now the fascination with how the formal, I'm hearing, uh, focus of the physical environment and context of this change is now brought up as a major question in terms of how to strike balance within the space that naturally evolves. Now, it's so long-winded. I know Capricorn, I'm hearing strongly. Uh, okay, um, in, okay, but an uh, abstract perhaps as well, but there is a focus on, let's say, the macro undulations and changes and those that are more micro, those that are more subtle, those that are more nuanced, be it kind of like this. It's like, I feel like I have total awareness. I'm hearing third eye awareness of uh, even a vision that I have of how my future evolves. And at the same time though, I'm hearing, I feel like I haven't been really fixed in any particular place. I'm hearing also on the map in applying that sense of judgment. I'm hearing that I hold, I'm hearing absolutely. I'm hearing also unabashedly. Like there's something that again, you're like very sure, very confident with, but that has almost been like floating. And um, I'm hearing materialistic here related to the hanged man, like a question of well, what is the sort of also the application of all this? What is the practicality of all this? And I'm seeing that that is now a focus and it's interesting because I'm almost imagining this panther who just kind of takes a pause, just kind of like I'm hearing specifically begins to look at, at its own pause and uh, to, to look at what the ground has, uh, I'm hearing looked like beneath, uh, uh, I'm hearing its own earth. Interesting. Okay. Like almost like how let's say a certain experience has uh has has kind of been relevant to what has been carried out and experienced on a personal level emotionally um but i'm seeing it as almost like in a dimensional way i'm hearing multi-dimensional like how a certain so abstract scorpio okay like i'm seeing some body i'm hearing also of influence i'm seeing mm, some form of awareness that someone has had for a long time let's say i'm gonna say it like this like a vision okay like let's say someone has a vision, but their vision can kind of mm, hold depending on I'm hearing a space of reaction. Okay, like I'm seeing that it's almost like a, mm, it's kind of like the Scorpio. I'm seeing that there has been a question of your audience. I'm getting that for a number of you, okay? Where you're like, on one hand, I'm really clear on what my motto is. I'm hearing that as well for a number of you. I'm hearing also my motivations. What gets me up in the morning? What gets me, I'm hearing to school and the gym as well. But 
I'm not here to just uh, tether myself to the board of uh, I'm hearing the balance sheet of how I belong within my own uh, storyline, okay? I'm not sure what that's alluding to. I'm hearing also my own, uh, my own, uh, I'm hearing becoming, okay? It's like there is a space of context that I realize is so relevant. I can't just like evolve on my own. I'm hearing that as well for a number of you. What does it mean to evolve and what does it mean to do that on a personal level or what feels to be like on a level in which you feel like you're alone in that process, okay? It's like, I don't really want, I'm hearing here, the full coming through to feel that my feelings represent only i'm hearing my uh my uh my my needs for change okay my cause for change i want and i realize that this is a space that i would like to react to okay where i feel that you know what i don't want to just have to interact with people i'm hearing as well to get um to the next step in stage uh i want there to be at the same time though, the representation of how my role fits in with the next, okay? And I'm seeing it as almost like this. I'm getting it in the way of like, I now wanna get more personal with my work. I wanna get more personal also with this project. I'm hearing with all those, also this, this, this personhood, this sense of personhood that I feel that I have kind of moved into, okay? It's like I wanna kind of feel that my, my realizations, let's say that I come to, have a relevance uh, to them that's, I'm hearing cumulative. I'm hearing that it's related to the fool. Like I want there to be a feeling that we are making progress on many levels. And I'm seeing that you, on one hand, again, have kind of been involved in that space, but not um, as uh, I'm hearing the, uh, the, the, I'm hearing the ex, the ex, the exporter of it. Okay, where it's like, I'm seeing you almost like anonymously. Um, I'm hearing advising certain people to move in certain directions. I'm not sure what that's alluding to, but the feeling is yet again. And again, I know it is so abstract here for a number of you, perhaps Scorpio, but I'm seeing like, again, like a panther, like try to feel this, okay? Like imagine like a panther who's been like kind of in the forest, walking around, hawking things, looking at different people I'm hearing as well in different places in time. And it could, this could be all like happening on an energetic level, right? Like spiritually as well. Um, and, uh, but then all of a sudden they just stop. I'm hearing to learn. I'm hearing to listen, to, I'm hearing to, 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 to lean into the experience. And I'm seeing specifically a panther who, who like lifts their paws and looks at the, the what, what, kind of remains as like residue on the bottom of them, which is so interesting because if you think about the panther, right? It's such an elaborate, sophisticated sort of creature, even in the way that it kind of looks. It's like mysterious. Like you don't really know what the panther's thinking about. All you know is that you don't want to get in his way. <laughs> All right. But the feeling is that there is a sense of, again, I'm hearing it in the way of like formality to the way that this creature, also that this, uh, that this creation, whatever it is that you feel that you've been working with has, um, I'm hearing a, uh, I'm hearing a, 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 a I'm hearing a, um, a sense of belonging to it where it's like at the end of the day, even if let's say I understand or I've moved through the most sophisticated plot points in my own story, in my own mind, um, at the end of the day, I want to feel that I bring, I'm hearing my, my, my work into touch with my audience. Interesting here, the fool and the ace of cups. And that again, brings back into question, Scorpio, what you feel physically your, uh, I'm hearing your discussion speaks to interesting. Now I'm seeing that 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 is uh, relating to certain people here, certain people who you have not talked to for a long time. I'm seeing someone who like was about to say something and all of a sudden they just gulped their words. I'm not sure what this is alluding to, Scorpio, hopefully, hopefully not. And again, I'm feeling that touching on my on my right foot by my left foot, okay? It's like really weird. I keep looking at oh, what's that? And it's like <laughs> the most uh, very innocuous of, uh, of uh, exams, I'm hearing examinations, like I'm feeling something is really ironic, Scorpio, okay? Like, are you like afraid of like your own shadow, okay? Like the mouse who is running away from what they feel looks like a cat, but is really the, the coiling of their own tail. Like, I'm not sure what this is alluding to, but something that again is a little bit like, um, kind of uh, the question of the interaction itself, okay? Like if, okay, if, here comes a death card in the hangman. Again, it's like this stopping. It's like, 
like about two, about two, the five of pentacles in reverse, okay? In between the two, the hangman and the death card. Now, there's some space that you have been really, like really, really feeling that you've been kind of like taking a long-term exam in. It has to do with what you've been experiencing emotionally, spiritually. For a number of you, this is a spirit guide. I'm hearing specifically a soulmate as well. What is a soulmate? We're all soulmates, right? stimulating each other to understand how we evolve here. I'm hearing it in that way. I always take it as you will. I'm hearing as a species as well. It can be taken, perceive and interpret a number of ways, dear Scorpio. Um, but there is a certain, and I always take it as you will, there's a certain table here. And I'm hearing room for the expansion of discussion. I'm seeing it as related to the chariot that you feel you have to like activate, okay? Like in a physical way even, where you're like, I need to, to, I'm hearing say my name. I'm hearing say my name, say my name. When no one is around you, say baby, I love you. If you would run your name, say my name, say my name. Okay, uh, your name, your name, Scorpio. <laughs> um, but it's interesting because I'm seeing you almost being like, like if you're about to, let's say, pronounce something or announce something, I'm seeing you kind of being like, it's not a matter of my name though. I'm seeing like, it's like this, Scorpio. It's like, it's, again, I'm seeing someone almost stimulating you or some situation as you might feel like you stimulating yourself. I want to present something in this space. And I'm seeing you almost being like, okay, like I need to announce it. I need to then announce my name. But in the moment in which you kind of like bring yourself to the panel of judges, I'm hearing it specifically in that way, to um, make, I'm hearing your cause here known with the father of cups, the five of wands and the daughter of swords, you begin to jiggle. I'm hearing and jingle the, uh, I'm hearing the drawer of the chest. Interesting. like. I'm seeing you kind of feeling that there is more here to understand. Um, and it, I'm seeing in the way of like, when someone, let's say, calls you upon yourself, interesting to kind of like present something, I'm seeing you kind of being like, it's not a matter of my name though. I'm hearing, I, I'm seeing you almost like not presenting something or not wanting, let's say, to present something, kind of thinking, well, it's not my own name. I'm hearing Hierophant, that I am to, uh, to uh, I'm hearing legislate. I'm hearing to register as well. I'm hearing nome, N-O-M-E, which means name in Italian, okay, I believe. Now, there is a focus on like uh, representation. Yes, I'm hearing what's our, also our ally here, the world coming through. It's ironic, again, Scorpio, it's like here comes the death card right over the world. Now, these two had come through right in the beginning of the spread, right? I mean, this is a matter of what we've been jacking all trades for at the end of the day, what we feel we've been preparing towards, the culmination of. And I'm getting that this is a, I'm hearing, I'm hearing a secret that's not so secret anymore. The fool's mirroring here, the ten of swords. It's not about, let's say, starting something that is unearthed, okay? Like, this is a new beginning because we're, we're, we're finalizing it, like, in that way, saying that it is something that has never been before. But, wow, okay. <laughs> this big poodle just <laughs> walked by the window. Again, like there's this feeling I'm hearing of like a drum roll Scorpio, like something uh, you might feel. It's like this Scorpio, I'm feeling like the panther who then feels like the prey at a certain point in time in the field of, uh, of, of their own passion that they've been wildly, wildly working with. Um, as uh, I'm hearing a, uh, as a decision that, they, that, they've, that they've learned to make, uh, I'm hearing um, from one uh, from one mission statement to the next, like um, there's a really abstract Scorpio, I know, but I'm seeing for a number of you, perhaps that this has to do with what you've been um, kind of staging, okay? And I'm seeing it has to do with what you feel in a certain way you've been in control of, okay? Like in a certain way you've been kind of like holding the reins to, like I kind of get the way that people react to what it is that I do. I kind of get the way that, that also certain, let's say, um, aspects and elements of my uh, of my uh, routine kind of uh, resurface uh, to I'm hearing register me in this space interesting like okay but at the same time I realize that there is so much more that tells time when it's time to go okay and that the fool in reverse with the world upright that leads you out is not a space that I simply am hearing see myself in or speak about on behalf of I'm getting as well. This is a space that I must completely translate. I'm hearing from the place 
in which I feel it first. And that makes I'm hearing for a space of vulnerability that I perhaps have not entirely brought myself to count down in, okay? This has to do with the incorporation of what you consider your values, emotionally Scorpio, what you feel so deeply connected to. And I'm seeing that there's been an unwavering strength here. There's been an unwavering feeling of also passion, but the question of more so how that kind of surfaces in a way that's honest, in a way that's active, in a way that is practical even, okay? Where it's like, yeah, what I love and what I feel so deeply for, be it also a vision, a value, a virtue. I realize I don't wanna just kind of label as that. I don't wanna just kind of also orchestrate others to kind of incorporate into their kind of world. This is something that I want to really, I'm hearing, become one with the space in which I begin within it to evolve, I'm hearing, into the next lifetime interesting for a number of you i'm hearing timeline as well i'm hearing time time uh, time time uh, time to go home I'm hearing for a number of you but i'm hearing as well um time time stamp here now there is for a number of you a premonition of really strong vision that you have that you've been meditating on and it may have to do with even what you have uh, been uh, guided here um towards to kind of a uh, move in the direction of. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. Loving the light. See you all, Scorpio. Have a beautiful, beautiful May. Just look at the clock. It was 25.52 and it just went to 55. So take it as you will. 555 with the, the two there. 15, 16, 17 leading to eight. Your very own ruling house number, Scorpio, in the astrology uh, wheel. Um, you end here with the world mirroring the justice card. I'm hearing we are leading out with the fool as well. Um, the uh, I'm hearing the many uh, turns that we've taken, the many uh, I'm hearing paces that we've uh, kind of uh, I'm hearing carried our own work through and in, and uh, the many um, I'm hearing um, I'm hearing uh, times that we've been told what. Even if by ourselves, what we feel will be, I'm hearing the saving moment, I'm hearing grace. I'm not sure what that's alluding to, but like almost like someone who, let's say, has been, uh, I'm seeing like some, some this, a, a moment, I'm hearing like a moment, Scorpio, that you feel this is like it, okay? Like, and I feel that it's coming, I'm hearing that as well for a number of you, like some space in which you feel like I'm going to evolve, I'm hearing I'm going to, uh, I'm hearing um, experience um, this, uh, this this dynamic i'm hearing that as related to the fool and the dodgers i'm going to really also um i'm hearing leave it at that interesting where it's like that space in which i feel has been sort of a single moment um brings me not to the space in and, in and of itself that i feel i'm um deciding anything in in particular it brings me more so to the personality that i bring to the front stage to practice as I evolve through it. Interesting. And I'm seeing that for a number of you, it's like, where do I just simply begin without kind of holding myself up on the bulletin board of a presentation of what it is that's beginning and how it is that I begin on this note. I'm seeing that again, the many ways in which you've perhaps even, let's backtrack Scorpio, been um, moving towards making a certain move in a certain direction has sort of uh, come to a point of clarity that is not, um, um, I'm hearing communicating um, in any way the character that has carried the preparative space to this point. I'm not sure what that's alluding to for a number of you, but something that you feel you're like, it's like I'm hearing this, I need to forego science to understand this. I'm getting as well here for a number. I need to just kind of re-recognize also my own uh, my own responsibilities. I'm seeing for a number of you like a number of different levels uh, that you feel you've needed to move through to get you to that place where you finally, I'm hearing, finally understand what form you want to take on here in this lifetime. Interesting. And it can be a space in which you feel you've been kind of, again, like revolving. And again, I'm saying like a panther, like kind of like the different paces and different uh, traces that you've made uh, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing making your mark here in the sand uh, has brought you to bring to full attention what you would like to bring um, to light. And I'm hearing uh, full, in full view. Thank you so much for tuning in. Always take it as you will, Scorpio. Always take it as you will. Love and light. Bye, Scorpio. Bye.